Okay, hello and good day everyone. No? So today we will discuss about the combinations with conditions. Okay. So here, no, sa combination with conditions, parang sa permutation with restrictions to. So marami akong examples na inihanda. No? So nagbigay ako ng uh, different examples no? para naman may guide kayo sa pag-solve. Okay? So here, example number one. In how many ways can a monitoring team of five people be chosen from ten people if no additional condition is added? No? Uh, or... If two persons insist on both of their being together on a team or neither will, ser will serve. And then two persons refuse to serve together on the same team. Team. Now, here. Unahin natin yung ano, una. Sinasabing no addition is added. I mean, no, no additional condition is added. No? So here, no? for letter A, we just have to solve the combination ng, ng choosing five people out of ten. No? So we have NCR equal to n factorial over by n minus r factorial times r factorial. Your n here is 10, your r is 5, no? Then 10 minus 5 is 5. Then 10 factorial over by 5 factorial times 5 factorial. Cancel out natin yung 5 factorial, then we have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 is equal to 30,240. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 120. Divide natin, 30,240 divided by 120 is equal to 252. So we have 252 ways to choose 5 person or 5 people out of 10. Okay? Next. Uh, next condition, if two persons, to letter B, uh, if two persons insist on both of their being together on, on a team or neither will serve. So ibig sabihin, ini-insist nila na uh, dapat kaming dalawa lagi nandoon. Baga they are no, stick together lagi. Ngayon, kung yung isa lang mapili, hindi na rin maglalaro yung na-select kasi hindi na mapipili yung partner niya. Okay? So, ganito ang maging, magiging solution natin. We have n factorial over by n minus r factorial times r factorial equal to your, no? Instead of 10, yung n natin magiging 8, no? Kasi nga, yung, yung, yung dalawa, no? We will count it as 1. Or let us say, i-remove muna natin yung dalawa out of n, magiging 8 factorial yan. Then, 8 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. Bakit natin remove yung dalawa? Kasi, to neither will serve eh. Ibig sabihin, may chance na hindi sila maglaro. Kasi, for example, yung partner ko, ayaw kami mag, ayaw ko maghiwalay kami, eh ngayon na-select siya. Kung na-select siya, at hindi ako kasama, hindi na rin siya naglaro. So, nabawasan na ng dalawa yung 10 people. Okay? So, 8 minus 5 here is 3. Then, we have 8 factorial over by 3 factorial times 5 factorial. Okay? Yan. Cancel out natin to. Then, we have 8 times 7 times 6 is equal to 336 over by 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. 336 divided by 6 is equal to 56. So, we have 56 ways. Okay? Next. Letter C, no? Third uh, condition. Two persons refuse to serve together on the same team. So, what should we do here? Ano yung magiging uh, uh, com I mean, uh, combination natin? Your N here will become 8 again, no? just like what we did on letter B. And then, yung R natin is 5. Why? Kasi two persons refuse to serve together on the same team. So, mangyayari, no? once na maserve silang dalawa, Eh, yung isa, magre-refuse, mababawasan na yung 5 ng 1. So, we have 4 na lang. Okay? Then now, 8 factorial over by 8 minus 4. No? Then we have 8 factorial over by 4 factorial times 4 factorial. Cancel out, cancel out. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 is equal to 1,680 over by 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 24. 1,680 divided by 24 is equal to 70. So, we have 70 ways. Okay? Next, number two. A team of five watchers is to be chosen from four sophomores, three juniors, and two seniors. How many teams can be formed if the team is to, to include two sophomores, two juniors, and one senior? 
Okay? So, kailangan ng five watchers, no? A team of five watchers. So, kailangan mag-select ng two sophomores out of four. Kailangan mag-select ng two juniors out of three. And one senior out of two. Okay? So, isa-isa natin kunin yung combination nila. Start tayo sa, sa combination ni sophomore, no? So, since kailangan ng two sophomores here, out of four, so we have N, your N here is four, your R is two. Four minus two is equal to two, no? And then, four factorial over by two factorial times two factorial, cancel this out, four times three, we have 12, two times one is two, 12 times two is six. So we have six ways for sophomores, okay? The next, for juniors naman, no? Since we need the uh, two juniors out of three seniors, so we have your n here is 3 over by your r is 2. I mean, n minus your r is 2. No? Times r factorial, which is also 2. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Then we have 3 factorial over by 1 factorial times 2 factorial. Cancel this out, we have 3. Okay? Three ways for juniors. Next, for seniors naman, no? We need the one senior out of two. So we have your N here is two, then your R is one. Two times one is one. Then we have two factorial over by one factorial times one factorial. Cancel this out, we have two over by one is two. So we have two ways. Now, anong gagawin natin sa tatlo? Sa sophomore, meron six ways. Sa junior, we have three ways. Sa seniors, we have two ways. What should we do? Multiply. Six times three times two. That would be equal to 36. So all in all, we have 36 ways of selecting five watchers from four sophomores, three juniors, and two seniors. Okay. Next, from five geometry books and six algebra books, in how many ways can one select two geometry and two algebra books to buy if all the said books are equally important? Okay. So again, parang, parang dun sa number two. We, we need to solve for the combination from geometry book and algebra no? separately. Now, solution for geometry book, the combination here, no? your N is 5, and then yung R natin is 2. Kasi we have only 5 geometry books, then we need 2. Okay? Then your, uh, your N is 5, your R is 2, 5 minus 2, we have 3. We have 5 factorial over by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Cancel this out, then we have 5 times 4 is 20, 2 times 1 is 2. 20 divided by 2, we have 10. So we have 10 ways for geometry. Then, for algebra naman, no? so your n here is 6, your r is 2. 6 minus 2, we have 4. So 6 factorial over by 4 factorial times 2 factorial. Huwag kayong makonfuse dito, pinaiklik ko lang yan. No? Pero factorial na pwede na-extend. Cancel this out, 6 times 5 is 30, 2 times 1 is 2. 30 divided by 2, is 15. So we have 15 ways. Then, what should we do to, to, to the, the combinations of geometry and, and algebra? Multiply. No, yung mga ways na yun. So geometry, we have, we have 10. Sa algebra, we have 15. 10 times 15 is equal to 150 ways. Okay. Next, if there are five distinct points on a plane with no three of which are collinear, how many different polygons can be possibly made? Okay? So, meron tayong five distinct points on the plane na kung saan, no, no three of which are collinear. No? So, walang, walang three lines na collinear doon. Okay? So, ilang polygons ang, ma, ang, ang mapaform natin dito. Una, solve natin for triangle since triangle needs only three points. Okay? So, out of five, we, we have here three, no? So your n here is 5, your r is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Then we have 5 factorial over by 2 factorial times 1 fac times 3 factorial. No? Cancel this out. We have 5 times 4 is 20. Divide by 2 times 1 is 2. Then we have 10. So for triangle, we have 10. What about for, for quadrilateral? No? The quadrilateral, yung lines, I mean yung points natin dito are 4. So, yung R natin is 4. No? Then, 5 minus 4 here. No? Sinapitot ka na dito, ha? 5 minus 4 is 1. Then, we have 5 factorial over by 1 factor, factorial times 1 factorial. Cancel this out. We have 5, 5 divided by 1 is 5. 
that is for quadrilateral. So makakapag-form tayo ng, ng five quadrilaterals out of five distinct points. Now, for pentagon naman, since five distinct points yan eh. Okay, kung six, oh, i-include natin sa hexagon. Kung seven, i-include natin sa heptagon. But since five distinct points lang yan, pinaka-maximum na polygon na mapuform natin is pentagon. Now, how many pentagons can we form here? Your N here is 5, your R is 5. Now, substitute. Okay, 5 minus 5 is 0. So we have 5 factorial over by 0 factorial times 0 factorial. Cancel this out. Then we have 1 over by 1 is equal to 1. So only one pentagon ang can, can we um, mapuform natin dito. Okay? Now, total number of combinations. So what, what should we do dun sa mga number of combinations na form natin from triangle to pentagon? Since uh, five distinct points ang ginamit natin dyan, no, isang, kumbaga, isang group lang ng five distinct points ang ginamit natin, we need to add no, those combinations. Okay? For triangle, we have 10. For quadrilateral, we have, we have 5. For, for pentagon, we have 1. 10 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 16. So we have 16 polygons here. Okay? Next, on a circle, there are 12 points selected. How many triangles with edges in these points? Okay, can be formed. No? On a circle, though, there are 12 points selected. No? How many triangles edges in these points? Lang triangles lang na form. Now, <clears throat> since we have 12 points, your N is 12, then yung R natin is 3. Because in triangle, we only need 3 points lang. No? Then combination tayo. Substitute. No? We have 12 minus 3 here is 9. Then we have 12 factorial over by 9 factorial times 3 factorial. Cancel out yung 9 factorial. Then we have 12 times 11 times 10 is equal to 1,320 1, over by 1 times 2 times 3 6. 1,320 divided by 6 is equal to 220 triangles ang na-form natin out of 12 points from a circle. Okay? Then we have here, number, another one, number six. If there are 10 teams in volleyball tournament and each team must play every other team in the eliminations, how many elimination games will there be? Okay, so we are going to compute here the elimination, elimination games of 10 teams wherein nagkakaroon tayo ng... Okay, nagkakaroon tayo ng round robin kung tawagin, no? Kasi every team should be play against the uh, ev against every other team in this elimination round. Now, mangyayari, no? Your N here is 10, no? which is the total number of teams, and then yung R natin is 2. Ha? Pala naging 2 kasi sa isang round, no? dalawang teams ang magla maglalabad. No? Then we have here, no? 10 factorial over by 10 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. 10 minus 2 is 8. No? Then expand natin 10 factorial over by 8 factorial times 2 factorial. Cancel out. 10 times 9, we have 90. 1 times 2, we have 2. 90 divided by 2 is 45. So we have 45 elimination games. Okay? Okay, let us have an exercise, no? Solve the following. A basketball team has 12 players. In how many ways can the coach form a player team of 5 players if there is no condition? Now, kung there is no condition, uh, proceed tayo agad sa combination. Now, your R here is 5, your N is 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. So, you have 12 factorial over by 7 factorial times 5 factorial. Cancel out natin 7 factorial. Then, you have 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 is equal to 95,040. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 120. Divide natin, then we have 792 ways. Lahat, lahat, no? If there's no condition. But if one particular player must always be on the team, then we have here, no? Yung N natin is 11, yung player, yung, yung R natin is 4. No? Paano nangyari ito? Bakit nabawasan ng tigi isa? Kasi automatic na yung isang player ay eh, pasok na doon sa ano 
doon sa team na yon. So, di na siya kasama doon sa arrangement. Di na siya kasama doon sa pag, ano, labo-labo ng pag-select ng player. Automatic na siya. Kung baga sa, ano, exempted na siya doon, automatic kasama na siya. So, pag binawasan natin ng isa, yung 12 magiging 11 na. And if you already uh, selected one, one player, so you just, you just have uh, need Uh, for for another players para makompleto yung five players that's why 11 to then four naman yung isa okay so here class in, in permutation and combination no kailangan talaga i-analyze yung problem okay now 11 minus 4 here is 7 no we have 11 factorial over by 7 factorial times 4 factorial cancel this out we have 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 is equal to 7,920 over by 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is 24. 7,920 divided by 24 is equal to 330 ways. Okay? Next, in how many ways can a delegation of 6 students be chosen from 4 seniors, 4 juniors, 3 sophomores, and 3 freshmen if the delegation includes 2 seniors, two juniors, one sophomore, and one freshman. Okay? So, dito, no? Kailangan natin ng six students. No? So, meron tayong four seniors dito, four juniors, three sophomores, and three freshmen. Now, you need two, two seniors out of four seniors. You need two juniors out of four juniors. You need one sophomore out of three. We ha we, you need one freshman out of three also. Now, what is our combination here no okay combination for senior is 4 for ju for for junior is 42 for sophomore is 31 for freshman is 31 then multiply lahat no so isaysay natin 42 okay 4 minus 2 here is okay Kamali ng animation. Ito muna dapat eh. 4 minus 2 is 2. No? So we have 4 uh, factorial over by 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Then that is equal to 6 ways. No? So sinortcut ko na ng konti yung solution na. Kasi paulit-ulit naman yung ganitong ano, eh, process eh. And then 3 minus 2 is 1. Then 3 factorial over by 1 factorial times 2 factorial is equal to 3. So we have 3 ways. No? Okay. Tulad na sabi ko, shortcut to. Kung anong sa senior, ganun din sa junior. Kung anong sa freshman, I mean sa sophomore, ganun din sa freshman. Then now, so kung 6 to, now we have 6 times 6. Dito naman is 3 times 3. Okay? 6 times 6 times 3 times 3 is 324 ways. Okay? So dalawang 6 kasi parehas lang naman to. 4, 2, 4, 2. Dalawa yung 3 kasi parehas lang naman to. 3 and 3. Now, next, letter B. The delegation includes at least one of each level. Okay? So, one of, uh, one of each level daw ang kailangan. Now, we have four, one, times the combination of four and one, times the combination of three and one, times three, the combination of three and one. Kasi isa-isa lang daw ang kailangan. Okay? So, now we have here, four factorial over by 4 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. Okay? 4 minus 1 is 3. Then 4 factorial over by 3 factorial times 1 factorial is we have 4 here. For, for, for 3 naman, no? we have 3 factorial over by 3 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. 3 times 1, I mean 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay? 3 factorial over by 2 factorial times 1 factorial is equal to 3. Again, multiply natin. Ito is 4. This one is also 4. This one is 3. This one is 3. 4 times 4 times 3 times 3. That would be equal to 144 ways. Okay? Next, number 3. In a gathering, the host makes sure that each guest shakes hands with everyone else. If there are 25 guests, how many shake hands will be done? Okay? So in gathering daw, no, the host makes sure that each guest, kada guest daw ma- mga kamayan niya. E eh, paano kung may 25 guests? So, how many uh, shake hands uh, will he be done? No? Okay, we have your combination 25 and 2. Bakit 2? Kasi pag nag-shake hands kayo, dalawang tao kayo eh. Diba? Dalawang tayo kayo may shake hands. Hindi naman pwede isang, isang tao lang 
mag-isa kang magsishake hands sa sarili mo. No? So, pag nag-shake hands, no, involved na yung two person. That's why we have two here as R. Then, we have 25 uh, factorial or by 25 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. 25 minus 2 is 23. Then, expand natin. 25 factorial over by 23 factorial times 2 factorial. Cancel out. Cancel out. 25 times 24. That would be equal to 600. Divide by 2 is 300. So, we have 300 handshakes ang makikreate ng host doon. Okay? So, that's it. Okay, thank you for listening. And again, do not forget to answer your exercises. Okay? So, that's all. Goodbye and God bless.